patient. All of us here at the Raymond Mitchell Association want to thank you for your participation in our limb regrowth program. Your generous service helps us aid all of humanity. We understand if you're confused, but don't worry, you're not alone. There is another patient to keep you company in our facility, and they're very eager to meet you. All we ask is that you play a game of chance with your new friend to determine the effectiveness of our procedure. There is a small penalty for losing, but luckily for you, the very nature of this program means you won't suffer any permanent damage. In the following room, you will see a game board representing the maze in our facility, with the human statuette representing you. Your goal is to navigate through this maze and find a way out. But be careful, some tiles, represented by various colors, will initiate certain events, and you might not find all of them to be pleasant. A small cabinet has been provided for you to store all the useful items you come across. Hover over items to see their descriptions, and left-click to move them on and off the provided medical tray to equip them. Be sure to use your items strategically, as once they are used, they are gone forever. In the case that you need to hear this message again, please feel free to replay it from the phonograph in the following room. patient all of us here at the A standard 52 card deck will be placed before each of you, and each patient is allowed 5 cards in their hand. Luckily for you, since you're the challenger, you'll always start first. All revealed cards will be moved to the discard pile off to the side. You will only be able to redraw once you've used all the cards in your hand. Of course, 
cards in your deck won't be shuffled until all cards have been sent to the discard pile. In each deck, there are 31 safe cards, 16 death cards, and 8 joker cards. Drawing a safe card allows you to pass your turn with no consequences, but if you draw a death card, you will unfortunately relieve yourself of one of your fingers. Additionally, for your convenience, there will be a monitor keeping track of the amount of death cards currently on the table. If three jokers are drawn, execution will begin. Whoever draws the third joker has the option to choose either themselves or their opponent to have their current hand scanned. If you choose yourself, your hand will be scanned for death cards. If you have any death cards, they will be removed from your hand. If you do not possess any death cards when you perform this action, one of your fingers will be singularly removed. The same is true for your opponent. Should you win the game, you'll be returned to the game board. Should you lose all your fingers within an encounter, you'll permanently lose two fingers and return to the board. This procedure is still a work in progress after all. Regrettably, if you permanently lose all your fingers, you will no longer have the opportunity to be a part of this wonderful project, and you will be retired. Any fingers you collect from your opponents can be kept in trade for items in the item shop, the location of which is noted in blue on the game board. You can see your collection of fingers in a jar located in the game board room cabinet. In case you do hear this message again, please feel free to replay it from the phonograph located in the game board room.
Ah! <laughs> 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 